So welcome to day number 16. We have already done half the mission. Thanks a lot for watching each and every episodes practicing with me. See, we have already finished this all thing, getting started, basic, vector, modules, and procedures are also gonna be finished in one, two days. So please keep liking because likes are the only thing which keep me direct feedback, immediate feedback that you are getting benefited. So don't forget to like. Initially, we thought of 50 likes in each video average, but it is not completing, <laughs> but it's okay. Please keep liking uh, till the time you are getting benefited. So today we will take the case statement important in very low coding or it is also important in any type of coding. Like anytime in your interview, if, you, if they ask about coding, then there would be one, one question, mostly very basic question. And that is, what's the need of case? What's the need of case actually? Why we have case? First, we need to understand, and this is a very basic question, why we use a case. We use a case actually to eliminate a if-else statement, right? So we already have a if-else statement, then why we need to eliminate if-else statement? See, if you have two, <coughs> see, if you want to make a choice between two choice, then if-else is perfect, perfect fitted. But if there are four things and you want to choose one, if there are eight things and you want to choose one, there is one option and that is go for if else, if else, if else staircases, right? We will achieve our motive, but it will make your code slow. It will make your code unreadable or very difficult to read or debug. That's where case statement is coming. For example, in our very log, uh, in our very log sense or our digital electronic sense, if we have a mask which is of two is to one, then for sure if else are perfect. In last video also we were doing. But if you have a mask multiplexer you, with four input, you want to select one, then if you're gonna write it with if else, then it will be difficult. We can write it, but it will be difficult. If we have eight, it will be more difficult. So that time we actually use case statement. Okay, to give you more insight, like if we have uh, this four options okay for example option one two three four and we need to select one we can write five if statement here if one is condition is true then select one if condition two is true then select two like this we can go on and it will generate a if else staircase if we also give else part and in very long we need to give else part right otherwise it will be it will produce a ledge as last video to eliminate this issue actually or make this code run faster more readable we can easily use case statement instead of these four lines of if right and we have already done one in our previous episodes and today we will do one different questions okay so in this program or in this practice what we gonna do we gonna, we gonna make one six is to one multiplexer one two three four five six Okay, now tell me, it is a basic question from digital electronics. For a 6 to 1 multiplexer, how many bits need to be there in a in your select line? Tell me. If you use 2 bit, then you only have 4 combination, right? But we have a 6 combination, so that's why we need to increase a bit more. So we need to use 3 bit select line here. And if you come here, you can see already they have given us this 3 line select um, select but with three line select bit we will also have a problem i'll go to that problem a little later for now hold on let's do it so in problem statement they have already given we have six input here and we need to select one according to select line as ma uh, multiplexer are doing so it is very easy let's start it so in case statement first would be the variable so our variable is here select right and then we're gonna go with the cases, like what are the situations. So um, your select line is of three bit, so we wanna write it like this, three bit zero zero. So if it is three bit zero zero, then what we gonna do, we gonna select data, not like that, our out, see out is there. So our out will become data zero. And likewise, okay, semicolon, and likewise, let me do for other five cases. So I have written all the six combinations. Just be careful. Uh, you need to write three bits. Your select line is of three bits. So that's perfect. But is it perfect? No, it is not perfect. We will have some error. Uh, I think we will have some warning here. But uh, let me execute. But try to guess what issue we will face here. 
by our first initial view we can see there is no issue uh, we have our select line here and we are saying hey this variable select let me write it here we are saying hey this variable select anytime it take this value select this if it take this value select this and likewise and it is same same way it is simulating the behavior of your 6 to 1 mask perfect but uh, there is a issue and issue is okay i'll go there later let me do that this thing and case so this will make your simulator understand the hey, case gone uh, case got ended let me see if we're missing anything in our syntax we need to start with case we need to finish it uh, with n case begin and end is only necessary if you have more than one statement inside a um, switch these are the switch or the uh, options but in our case we have only one thing to do here right so yeah let me submit i hope we'll get error and see we got a error okay this is <laughs> this is not the error this is something else uh this is not data data okay zero one two three four five six data six is not defined zero one two oh we went one th more now it's perfect let me submit and see we got a wrong thing uh okay but how to know what the wrong we are doing let me see the warning so see what is there we are getting this inferred ledge inferred ledge inferred ledge please mind this error or warning it is very important warning and this is the same issue we were discussing in our last episodes in our last class that you need to give option for all the alternative if you keep anything uh, not defined for example if we have written else is not there then our simulator will build a ledge because they need to remember the previous answer previous output so they need to build a ledge probably our intention to build a combination circuit but it will become a sequential circuit because of our uh, wrongly very low code and that's a very dangerous thing we should avoid this thing and to avoid this thing see what we are doing here we are using three bits for our select line and why we are using three bits because we have six option to select so with two bits is not possible with three bits possible but with three bits the added complexity is arriving that with three you can define up to eight options so two options are undefined here if you can go two options are undefined so anytime my select line if it become one 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 then what's the thing i'll choose from here nowhere i have defined it therefore our simulator will think hey one option is actually two options are non built here so i need to remember the previous answer so what is it doing it is building a mask here your masks have if you have three select line then very log will understand that i have eight option here so one two three four five six seven and eight six we are using we already defined the exact value for six but for other other two what it will do this is your answer so it will just feed this answer for other two so anytime you select other two this two will get like it need to remember the previous state so there's the situation which we don't want so to avoid that what we'll do we will add another we will add another line and which is called default so in default if anything is not there then actually in, a, in the question only they have said here see otherwise output should be zero and for the writing default this is your syntax so we will write in default out should be equal to zero okay let me write equal to zero it will again give you error what's the error let me see yeah we got a success but yeah i was saying we'll get error because see uh, it is zero that's why we, we got saved if it is one two three then we must be in, in problem because we need to define what's the uh it is it is binary decimal what so it's a good practice so it's all a good practice to define like this binary and triple zero so it's a good practice to remember so now the next question is your priority encoder again priority encoder these things are directly related to your digital electronics right i hope there is no new concepts we, we are introducing but still in our next class i'll go through priority encoder if needed and uh, others also but for today i don't have any questions so you need to do this as a, your homework priority encoder last episode also i have said to you but uh, case statement but today i am doing but for priority encoder please try to do it if not write in the comment section and for the last episode's question how's the difference between blocking and non-blocking we have already discussed in in depth in uh, lecture number 12 or 13 i guess 13 i think so please see it if you don't know and write in your own language 
ओनलि गुज मीन इंग्लिश ओनलि बाट इन योर ओन वार्ड सो उल सी यू इन नेक्स्ट क्लस टिल दें टाटा बै बै